Hey, what's up my YouTube friends? Welcome to my review of the Steel Will Fjord folding knife. This is the We All Juggle Knives channel. This has white G10 handle scales, lanyard hole. The blade length is 3.2 inches. See the pocket clip there? Has a unique thumb stud. It's got jimping on a thumb rest. This is D2 tool steel. I really like the blade shape on this. You can see how it's uh, based on some outdoors fixed blades. It's got a big fuller, right? And it is a flat grind up to that fuller. Skeletonized pocket clip. I also really like the contrast of the white scales with the darker blade. Right, I cut a variety of materials with this out at the creek, starting with a piece of a box. Now that's twi double thick. See how thick that is? That's a sharp knife. Next up, we got the familiar strap material, kind of like a seatbelt, and the wind was fierce that day. Alright, sliced right through. Yeah, strong winds and well below freezing with the uh, wind chill. Alright, there you go. Knife performed admirably. Alright, just some paracord. A mundane yet possibly uh, useful task. Yeah, Steel Will is a pretty good brand. I have their Chieftain fixed blade. Alright, next up we've got some Whitling. So I hope you're all doing well and prospering in this new year. On this particular day we had uh, 15 mile per hour winds. And the temperature was right at the freezing mark, so then with the wind chill. I basically had to do my cutting tasks. And then I would have to put my hands like in my pockets and... and just curl up for a few minutes until I could feel them again and then do the next task. This did awesome at the Whitling. Here is the knife in pocket. So it's got a deep carry style pocket clip. Skeletonized. There's a close up of that clip for you. Alright, initial sharpness. So the knife did come sharp. Alright, let's talk about this uh, interesting thumb stud. I, I've never had a knife that had the thumb stud there. But as you can see, this thing fires off like a gunshot. Okay, not quite that loud, but... Yeah, as you can see, I mean, it works well. You know, after just a little bit of practice with that uh, thumb stud, I mean, that's my offhand too. Boom. Okay, but, you know, right hand only, but the pivot was smooth as well. All right, the last thing I did, just a little food prep. Here it is, draw cutting through the uh, peppers. All right, so it's a short knife, but uh, you could use it for a little camp food prep. There's the peppers. What's for dinner? Pork bellies with a, a side of roasted peppers was for dinner that day. Final thoughts on this knife? Well, really like the blade shape. I really like the uh, contrasting colors. Uh, you know, the, the white, if you use it a lot outside, that's going to kind of turn gray, at least until you uh, clean it thoroughly. But that doesn't bother me at all. That's a, mark that, that's a mark of pride that you actually use the knife. Initial sharpness was uh, high. The lockup was rock solid. That thumb stud was a little freaky at first, but uh, it works really well. The pivot is very smooth, and this thing will deploy well. I mean, it fires off like it's an auto. I would definitely be willing to pay more for an upgrade of the steel, right? But for this price point, the steel is, it's okay. I just like this brand in general. This is the third steel will I have. They've uh, served me well. Check out the links below to uh, all the steel will. This has been We All Juggle Knives. I'm out.